Hello, my name is Professor Rory Ridley Duff and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create articles of association for a fair shares company. To create a set of articles of association for a fair shares company, you first of all need to open the fair shares rules generator. Scroll to the bottom of the screen and click generate company rules. There may be more than one set of model rules. If you are working in England and Wales, there is an option where the choices are pre-filled with sensible default values. If you see an option for your own country or language, you can choose this. In this example, I will choose a fair shares company pre-configured for England and Wales to illustrate how the rules generator works. Once you open the form, there is help text to provide you with an introduction. Work through this at your own pace with your business advisor if appropriate. You need to supply an email address. Be careful entering this because if you get it wrong, you won't receive a copy of your model rules. In this lesson, I'm going to create draft rules and accept the Creative Commons license. If you don't accept the license, which places your rules in a Commons resource for others to study and learn from, you cannot proceed. After accepting the license terms, there is an explanation of the structure of a fair shares constitution. Read through this and then begin filling in the information on the form. When you type in your name, make sure you capitalise your first name and last name, as this name will appear in the copyright notice of the rules you generate. Where you are asked the name of the organisation, this is the one you work for now, not the name of the organisation you're creating. You can also input your current job title, which appears next to your name on the cover page of the rules you create. The website address is optional. Firstly, you decide what type of rules you're creating. In the UK, we call them articles of association. However, if you're in the US, you might create bylaws for an S or C corporation to turn it into a cooperative. I will accept the articles option on the form. The name of the Companies Act has already been entered. If you're not in England and Wales, type the name of the law that applies. Next, you enter the name of the company that you are creating. So I'm going to enter Create a Better Life Limited. Do remember to type this exactly as your laws require, including the PLC Limited or other suffix that denotes its legal form. You can specify a territory that your company laws cover and input your primary social objective. As you work through the form, read the text that goes with each user-defined option. For example, you can change the currency. You can set the number of founder shares to reflect the number of people involved in creating the company. I'm going to accept the predefined defaults for now. As you will see, you can change the name founder shares to something else. Similarly, you can rename labour shares and user shares. In the cooperative movement, people often change investor shares to community shares. I'll do that to show the results. You may need help working through the options. In addition to members of the Fair Shares Association and your legal or business advisor, there is a comprehensive Fair Shares wiki that provides further technical support. Let me open this to show you how you can find out more about options in the Fair Shares Rules Generator. Firstly, I type fairshares.coop forward slash wiki into my browser. Then I input what I wish to search for. As an example, I'm going to search for special resolution. I type this into the Fair Shares wiki and it shows me the page about special resolutions. There are options for describing directors and stating when elections are triggered. You can say how many directors there are for each membership class and how many you can co-opt. You can set a wage solidarity ratio, which is a key way to prevent poverty and curb excessive pay for executives. You can set how much money of your surplus 
goes to financial reserves before you issue patronage refunds, interest payments and dividends. Importantly, you can state what share of surplus goes to each class or member. At least 50% must go to labour and user members combined. I will accept all of these defaults and also the options for who will undertake mediation in the event of a dispute. At the end of the form, I will choose the option to receive a Word document and then I'll submit. It usually takes only a few minutes to receive two emails. The first shows the form you have submitted. The choices on the Google form that will be merged with a template. After that, we send you a document that contains your draft rules. Let me now go to my email system and see if these emails have arrived. So here we are. Firstly, I get a confirmation of the options that I filled out when using the rules generator. This has a list of all the responses that I've made. A copy of this is retained by the Fair Shares Association. Then, a few minutes later, I get a Word document containing my rules. A PDF copy of this is sent to the Fair Shares Association. I hope you found that video useful. Uh, we have courses available on the website of the Fair Shares Institute. If you want to study to become a certified practitioner in Fair Shares, point your browser at fsi.coop forward slash courses to find out more information.